the next yeah. template uh, container what we are going to see is vector so uh, it is similar to an array whereas the main difference between the array and vector are once uh, in array you declare the number of elements previously uh, while declaring itself you will say what is the number of element that array will hold whereas uh, in vector uh, no need to declare like that it you can it keep on increasing so an array is a static structure whereas a vector is a dynamic structure so for example in the previous one here you declared as integer and element is 4 even if you want to add more after 8 i want to add 10 that cannot be possible because it is a fixed structure whereas in a vector see here a vector you can declare like this without any number of elements see here this only data type you are declaring how many elements this array one will hold that you are not declaring same way here you have declared in two and array two consists of here it consists of five elements but while execution time you can keep on increasing the number of elements it will not say that only five elements it can hold so this array 2 will grow likewise here this v this will after this uh, element uh, there are four elements or the string elements after this you can keep on increasing in your coding so that is why it is called dynamic array so the main difference between an array data structure and a vector is array is a static element once while declaring itself when you declare the number you have to declare number of elements and you cannot declare more than that well, you can uh, you cannot add more than that whereas a vector uh, it is it is not necessary that you have to declare the number of elements it will hold during the declaration itself after that you can keep on increasing that is the main difference between and it is a dynamic structure so an array is a static structure that is when declaration we define the maximum size we cannot increase after that if during program execution we have to store elements more than its size then we have to go for vectors which is nothing but dynamic array so the vector can be it's a small piece of code which explains how you can declare an array so the three types of declaration we have given vector int array one i am like that vector in array two and then it is a string type here what main thing is you have to use this vector like in previous one we have used array array library function uh, library here we are using vector so we some of the very uh, important functions we will see in this member functions pushback is one of the member function which is used so what is the pushback it will be uh, used to add values into the vector and when you use this pushback it will be always added at the end of the vector initially the vector is having empty element there is nothing then you push one so when you push one it will be added then when you push four it will be added after one and eight it will be added after eight and so on so each element is pushed at the end of the vector then insert pushes used to add an element at the end of the vector whereas insert you want to add in the middle or friend or at the last so you mentioned the position where you want to insert you can insert so that is the advantage of this insert and insert has two arguments it insert the element in vector before the position pointed by iterator itr here let us imagine this is the vector we have existing vector now uh, you are declaring uh, where iterator so iterator is used to go through the uh, container here container is nothing but this vector so we are declaring an iterator which is of type integer and then i iterator is another container so which has the function begin and end begin is used to start from starting of the given uh, array or vector or uh, stack whatever it is then it go through till end so for the iterating iterating the whole collection so here v dot begin is one of the function which is available in the iterator so now using that initially we do then we use v dot insert in this vector this iterator is used to go through the whole of v v is nothing but this vector so 
p dot insert i here i is nothing but beginning which is nothing but 10 so 10 comma 70 means what uh, what it will do is uh, since it is a beginning it will insert in the first place before 10 so now the value is inserted before so insert function it can be overloaded by the third argument so another argument also you can give that is called count so this count parameter defines how many times the element is to be inserted before the pointed position so for example here we start with begin this is the beginning so before beginning you have to so that we are assigning here two elements count this is nothing but count and what element to be inserted is given here so now what means 2 times 100 is inserted before the beginning that's what here it says the position and this says the last element says what element to be inserted and in the middle this gives the count how many times this element will be inserted before this position that's what so here since we have given begin begin before beginning we are inserting two uh, times the value of value 100 so you can insert like this and another example is also that another uh, insert function i v2 begin and v2 end so the above code will insert the elements from v2 begin to v10 before index pointed by i this is another syntax available now one more function pop back pop back is removal of an element from the vector it reduces the size of the vector by one so automatically it reduces no need for you to make minus one like that once you are remove an element from array you want to make the array number of elements to be four if it is five after you remove four so you you, you normally you will do uh, you write code but here it is no need automatically it will be decreased the size of the vector will be decreased by one so here i assume you have this element vector and then you do pop back so in popback you don't give argument because if you give automatically the value will be removed so you see here it will be removed at the end of the array and sorry at the end of the vector now we'll see arrays function arrays function it removes the element pointed by the position in the pushback what we are doing is we remove the element okay at the back but if i want to remove the element in 30 I want to remove to how to do that because pushback always remove element at the back if I, but I want it to be uh, by mentioning the position I want to remove then you go for arrays so here arrays has the uh, argument one it can give one argument or it can be given another argument two arguments also so it will be overloaded with this uh, here we you see vector size let us imagine vector size initially zero then we add the values, five values to the vector. So now the vector size is five. Now using iterator, you are able to print the value and after removing the first element, now this element is moved. Then after removing the elements except the last two, so we will be able to remove this using the arrays. Now I'll show you the coding. Here we will see, first we will see this, we will see uh, here, we have to use the keyword vector, which is nothing but a uh, header file. So that you have to include in order to use uh, the vector. So here we are declaring this vector to consist of uh, integer and we have given a name for this vector as array1 uh, and for this also it is given, we have given the name as array2. You can change this name as v1, v2, etc. And we have declared another variable uh, that is vector variable v and it is of type string and we are able to pass the, we are initializing the uh, values. Now we are declaring another vector also which is of type int and v1. Now uh, first initially we are when here there is no values are assigned to this vector. So we are printing that value, it gives us zero. Then push values into the vector. Now we are pushing the values into this v1 vector. So here what we are doing is 
actually these two are not needed let me remove this because we are not at all using that okay um yes then uh, here we are printing the size of the vector here we are not initializing we are printing so initially it will be zero then we are using pushback and getting the input from the screen and we are adding it to the uh, vector then we are printing the values in the vector v1 what we have pushed we are printing it on the screen then we are here we are using the iterator see how iterator can be used for that also you have to declare it as a vector iterators are vectors so you can declare it as a vector and since a integer the values stored inside are integer so that i am using it as an integer here what values you are storing what uh, say for example here i am going to access the vector v1 is what value i have pushed is integer so the same thing only i have to use here if i am going to use uh, print the values string then i have to declare this iterator to be a string only so here i have used since i am going to use it for v1 i am using int then i have declared the name this is uh, these are all the keywords vector in key this iterator is a keyword you have to spell it as such and this is the user variable i can give anything even x also i can give but car must be taken to use the same variable this is an iterator variable and iterator is a keyword this iterator is attached with this vector so for this vector i am using this iterator that is the meaning of this then here i am initializing uh, the starting of the vector by giving the v1 dot begin this is nothing but member function of the vector now while see uh, we are using a while loop in order to go through whole of the array so here what we are doing is iter not equal to iter is nothing but this uh, variable iterator variable equal to still it becomes till it reaches the end of the uh, vector what you do is you print so how you can print value of it it is pointer by using the pointer so this points to the starting of the uh, here we are making it to point to the starting of the vector then then it automatically say here we are increasing the iterator i i t r plus plus so it will point to the next location so on and the whatever the value in the vector that will be printed now i just print this see here initially the vector is vector size is nothing because here i have not declared anything i have not initialized anything sorry i have not initialized anything so no values so when i execute v1 dot size the size is zero that's what it is returning then after pushing back five values are pushed now the value of the size is printed as five then values in the vector this i am using the for loop for printing the value so here i am printing now this i am using the iterator to print the values in v1 so both are same but here we are using the iterator whereas here i have used the for loop so the values are printed like this so you can use pointer to so it points to the memory location of 0 1 2 3 and here you are increasing the address so that it will point to the next location